Hi YouTube, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial. Uh, I just recently purchased Sonic Adventure 2 off of Steam and I had a hell of a time trying to get my controller to work. Um, I use both a Nyko Airflow and a DualShock 2 with a USB adapter and no matter what I was doing I could not get it to read my controllers and one main thing I use is X360 CE because it's just super convenient uh, you know, especially for newer games that automatically detect Xbox 360 controllers. So I like to use that to emulate an Xbox 360 controller. So, um, I heard it was possible, but I couldn't figure out how to do it in Sonic Adventure 2. I was having so much trouble, and, um, um, I finally found information on it. Uh, I'd, I'd take no credit for finding this out myself. I'm just making this for everybody else's convenience who's trying to find out but um also if you don't have the latest version you know go to the main website and download it because it's a lot more simple to set up than the old version where you have to go into the hardware configuration get the IDs and everything the new version is a lot more simple to set up so download that and everything and then you know all you get now is this one exe file and then you're going to go to your Sonic Adventure 2 directory which by default mine was in C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. So you're going to go to Sonic Adventure 2, and your, well, copy your file into there, your exe. Then you're going to run it. And initially it's going to tell you it's not going to find an INI file or a DLL file, and it's going to create them for you right in the directory. And now this comes up. It, detect, it detected my uh, DualShock 2 with the USB, so make sure if you have it available, search the internet because most chances are it's going to find it. The way I have my DualShock 2 set up is completely complicated because the USB device or the USB adapter I have didn't have its own drivers and I had to find drivers for another third party device that eventually worked so for the fact that this still finds it that's all dandy and stuff like that so uh, best chances are it's gonna find what you have so just let it run let it run and if you know you already know all this you can skip ahead a little bit to get to the uh, actual point but just for people that don't have the newest version because I didn't and I was still copying and moving I and I files and the uh, DLL file so I just found this new version to be extremely convenient on top of that so once it's done it's gonna find it and it's controller one and it's sitting over here somewhere so it works and everything so I just like to click save to be sure and all the files are created so that's all set to go now here's the biggest problem that I couldn't understand and it it's just about everywhere in your Sonic Adventure 2 directory under config there will be keyboard dot config what you want to do is where it says player input way you want to change that zero to a one so you save that but here's the problem I was having when you bring up the launcher you go to player it still says keyboard it's not detecting anything well I did not know this and it wasn't explained in a lot of places but when you open the actual launcher well, usually it sets that back to, uh, and oh, and you launch the game through that, it sets this back to zero. So when I was launching the game through that, it was setting it back to zero, and I finally noticed that. So instead of usually using the launcher to launch the game, you want to launch it directly through Sonic2app.exe. I would go ahead and launch the game, but it's a little bit complicated, but trust me. When I was launching the game through the actual launcher, it it was resetting it by default because the launcher does not have the uh, you know the joypad listed or it can't see an Xbox 360 controller or whatever but when you were launching it when I was launching it through that it was making that zero by default so I finally found how to do that and I tested it running directly 
from the Sonic2app.exe, so I just made a shortcut to my desktop instead of launching it from Steam, and it worked like a charm, and I was so thrilled, because I had bought that game, like, wanting to use my controller, obviously, and the keyboard was just awkward for my hands, so... Um, hopefully this helped you out because, like I said, there's a lot of things out there explaining the keyboard config here, but not a lot explaining that you should launch it directly from the Sonic2app.exe. So hopefully that should work for you, and it worked like a charm for me, and I was extremely thrilled. So, um, also if you haven't tried out Sonic Adventure 2 on PC, do it. It, it works really well, and... It's just fun. It's just the same amount of fun I had before, and I can't wait to start raising Chow again. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully this helped you out, and thanks for watching.